Hello and welcome to Sonic Mania, Sonic and Tails, all Emerald Speedrun. This is the final level. This is Egg Reverie. You unlock this level because you have all the Chaos Emeralds. It is a wonderful boss fight to sit and do here. And I'm going to explain the two parts to the boss fight as we go through. I appear to have ruined the music, so I'm just going to quickly restart the stage there to get the music back and the sound effects. So this little cutscene, you cannot skip. You have to watch it. And as you can see, the time is all messed up. The two parts to this boss fight are hitting Heavy King and hitting Dr. Eggman himself. So at the start here, you're going to get boosted forward. Just make sure you hit into him and get ready to enter the little hole that you made. And then that gives you your first hit on Egg Reverie there. Eggman himself, really easy. Just let him hit you and then run into him. Do that for all his hits. For Heavy King himself here, you want to try and get a spin dash like I just did and hit him directly. Sometimes, however, you will accidentally hit his orb and he will fly around and this is where the fun begins. So you can see right now I'm getting fairly good hits while I spin dash into him. Eggman, just get hit once and away you go. He won't do any damage to you. So you can see here he's got all these orbs you need to try and hit. Dodge his orbs while you can. Supersonic can fly, he can glide. I suggest you play around with the mechanics on this stage first before you try and speedrun this particular fight. Egg Reverie, uh, Heavy King himself is the hardest part of this. I keep calling him Egg Reverie even though that's the level name. So again, you want to just try and break the circle of orbs that he has and get a quick hit in there. So again, just break the circle and get in there if you can. Ideally, you want to keep him as low as possible. Eggman, again, such a pushover. Let him donk you once with his hand. He doesn't push you far away. I just run into him. Reverie, however, you can see sometimes you jump in, other times you do not. And it's a relatively simple boss fight for him. And away you go. And again, that is the last hit on that. And then obviously that would be the last hit. And that would be time, but I'm just going to restart this again just to show you how things could go wrong and what other things could happen on the stage. That was a relatively smooth Egg Reverie fight there. Um, Heavy King was not too mean with his orbs. I managed to get a few good hits with the spin dashes and then just walking into him allowed me to go through. But there are times where it will not go that smoothly and there is not a lot you can do about that at all. So like for example here, the first hit, you can see my inputs. I'm immediately holding right and then I'm holding right down to try and get in there. If you miss that, you can see how he just starts hitting you with all his orbs and whatnot. Robotnik, Eggman, I'll show you what he does here if you just leave him alone. Like, if you leave him alone but you're close to him, he'll just start whacking you with his stuff. It's not really an issue. If you're far away from him, however, he'll start charging up the, uh, it, he'll start charging up the Phantom Ruby there and start dashing around like a numpty. Again, he still can't particularly hurt you, though. It's just annoying to hit now. But you've seen how long it took him to charge to get that. You'll never get that chance. Not in a speed run. So I'll let. So what happens is if you try and bounce off and you miss, this will start to happen where you'll start bouncing off, getting hit and whatnot. Thankfully, the rings are constantly spawning and you have the lightning shield effect as well. The other thing that you have with Supersonic here that I should mention, I suppose, is that you have a dash mechanic that will take five rings every time you use it. Try and not use it. It's not really worth trying to get a hit with it. As far as I'm aware, it doesn't particularly do anything. But the main thing is just to try and control the fight where you get the spin dash early enough to Heavy King and you break his orbs that allow you to get in an early hit. So like that, try and jump into the hole that you just made without getting hit by the orbs that he's going to throw at you. And that's all there really is to this particular fight. It's just a case of practice it and you will get it down eventually or Heavy King will be mean and there's not a lot you can do about it. And of course, with this being the last level, the timing of the speedrun ends when you get the last hit on Dr. Robotnik. Not the cutscene last hit, your actual last hit. So time would be coming up right now. And that would be time. 
and that would be that is all the levels done in the tutorial make sure to check out the special stage tutorial that is also included in this guide to help you get the emeralds faster thanks for watching hopefully this helps you out and i will catch you guys in the world of twitch somewhere